Okay, what I have here is a little um, human-powered air engine that uh, I found on Granddad's channel, and he referred to another channel. And I decided to play around with it, and it's just a simple um, paper and paper clip and lid type of thing with some tin foil as the piston. And then this tube rolled up out of paper to make the cylinder that when you put the piston in the cylinder and blow on it, it makes the wheel go around. And you have to blow in and out of the tube to make it work. But I was fascinated with the construction of how simple you could make this thing. And I just used paper clips and rolled up paper. And then um, I also thought, well, you know what? The flywheel here, if I put the magnets on the flywheel, I can make a pulse motor out of it. And of course, if I have the, the piston in the tube, it still goes too. Of course, that got me wondering if I could make a pump out of this thing. If I put the valves in it correctly, I might be able to make an air pump out of it. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. I've been playing around with this very, very simple idea that Granddad turned me on to, along with this other guy, and I'll give a link to both guys, of using uh, paper rolled up for your your tube and then you uh, I put crazy glue on the points here where it rolls around for uh, to reduce the friction but that made a pretty darn good pulse motor and then like I say this rolled up paper tube for your cylinder and then the uh, the piston is a round ball of tin foil with paper inside of it that fits the inside of the tube for your piston and cylinder. And of course, my brain just went crazy with that idea of maybe a Stirling, Stirling engine could be made with a simpler idea of using a ball instead of the uh, classic uh, cylinder kind of piston. So anyway, that's what I've been up to is this uh, thing that Granddad turned me on to with a very simple video on this air-powered uh, air powered demonstration engine. And then I went this direction. Thanks for watching.